more games. We got the Falcons and Seahawks. Uh, Seahawks at home minus two over under a forty two. This game I'm I'm staying away from personally betting wise. I would recommend you do the same. I don't know how this game is going to go. I have a sneaking suspicion that the Falcons pull out a win though because I think they've played better compared to uh, the Seahawks. But yet again, the Seahawks beat the Broncos at home though. So yeah, like- that's the thing. I don't know how this game goes. I like the Falcons just because I kind of like of what I've seen from Marcus Mariota. And then what I've seen from the Falcons offense, I think they can put up points and who knows? Yeah, I feel like that's the game where Seattle wins. They're at home. And then I feel like DK Metcalf is going to have a big game because no one on Atlanta is going to stop him. It's not even going to be close. And then Geno Smith, I feel like, has shown he can be a really competent guy if he's facing a team like the Broncos. He played really well last year, so against inferior talent. I feel like Seattle was a pretty cozy win for them where they win by 10. Okay. Um, another game I'm staying away from: 49ers and Broncos. Uh, 49ers are favored at one and a half, so it's kind of a pick'em game. Over under a 45. I'm picking the 49ers to win, but just because of the fact that we talked about it in the last show, Nathaniel Hackett has shown to be the worst coach that has been hired from this hiring class. Complete joke. And 49ers. They got the momentum with Jimmy Garoppolo returning as their starter due to some unfortunate circumstances with Trey Lance. We hope he recovers pretty um, quickly. Um, but yeah, I like the 49ers in this game. Broncos just haven't shown the it factor that everyone predicted them to have. I like the 49ers winning pretty easily. I'm actually going to go uh, 31 to 21. Yeah, I'm going to go Niners winning easily just because their defense has played very well this season. And I feel like Kyle Shanahan knows the drill. Um, he's dealt with Russ in the past. He knows how to neutralize him with this defense. And I don't think the Niners really have a reason to be scared of the Broncos. While well, the Broncos are still trying to figure it out on the fly against a really good team in the Niners. I just feel like this has blowout written all over it. 